Hey, this is Jeff, and today we are looking at Microsoft Whiteboard, specifically the difference between the web app and the local desktop app. Um, and as you will see, there is quite a difference. I thought of using uh, Microsoft Whiteboard in the past because the organization I was working with had Microsoft 365 subscription uh, or Office 365 subscription, uh, as you like. Um, but I felt it severely limited, right? Uh, so I've got a whiteboard here. So let's take a look at whiteboards in the web app. Um, and while it's loading, um, you can see that this is actually just very plain whiteboard, you know, as if I would have one hanging on the wall and I can write on it in different uh, color markers, right? But uh, writing actually on a whiteboard with your, your mouse pointer is kind of different, right? Uh, it it's, doesn't give you the uh, flexibility uh, that you would have with an actual marker. So it felt really clumsy using a whiteboard app like this because I wanted to just add some text. You know, I'm on my computer, so why not just let me add a text field? And then someone told me way later that they also have a local app that you can download on your PC. So, and that actually looks quite different. So let's let's go in here. And as you can see, and I'll go full screen here, uh, I've got quite a different panel in the bottom. So yes, I've got the markers and there are actually a couple of more um, that I can use. But the cool thing is I can now add text. So, and it will actually put it on a different spot every time which is really cool if you're using this as a brainstorming tool or if a, as, a, as a tool that will actually uh, use in a virtual classroom while you're using Teams as a platform or something like that. Same thing for Post-its, right? So you can add sticky notes. So it is that simple, right? Uh, really love that functionality. Again, great for brainstorming, for online sessions. Adding pictures you can do uh, from different uh, places, so your library, Bing image, or your camera if you're using the phone. Another list of cool things you can add, so actually a grid with uh, sticky notes, a to-do list, a regular list, uh, they've got PDFs, Word documents, and PowerPoints you can include, and pretty cool, these templates for different activities, so a brainstorm, a Kanban board, uh, you know, SWATs. So if I just grab that, it just puts that on screen. I'll just zoom out a little bit with some instruction on how to use it. And this makes Microsoft Whiteboard a really powerful application, right? You can do so much with this. Uh, and uh, compared to the uh, web app, how it's, it's like apples and pears, right? So you can either just scribble with your mouse on a whiteboard, or you got all this full uh, functionality where you can really start co-creating in online sessions. Um, so big plus for the whiteboard application from uh, Microsoft, the local drive version. Now I'm still, I still need to look into what that does on an iPad or a Chromebook or that kind of stuff. But if you're using Windows PCs in your organization, Microsoft whiteboard is absolutely cool.